rather be if I didn't always have to be me. I'd rather be an owl, a downy feathered owl, a winky inky blinky yellow eyed owl in a hole in a hollow tree. I'd take my dinner in chipmunk town and wouldn't I gobble the field mice down if I were a winky Blinkity Owl, and I didn't always have to be me. I know very well what I'd like to do if I didn't have to do what I have to do. I'd go be a woodpecker, a rappity tappity redheaded woodpecker in the top of an old tree. And I'd never take a look at a lesson or a book and I'd scold like a pirate in the sea if I only had to do what I like to do and I didn't always have to be me. Or else I would be an antelope, a pronghorned antelope with lots of other antelope skimming like a cloud on a wire grass plain. A bounding, bouncing antelope. You would never get me back to my desk. Or I might be a puma, a single colored puma, a slinking sly foot puma, as fierce as fierce could be, and I'd wait by the water holes where antelope drink in the cool of the morning, and I do not think that ever any antelope could get away from me. I'd like to be a hunter. I'd have a bow made of juniper wood from a lightning blasted tree, and I'd creep and I'd creep on that puma asleep, a flint-tipped arrow, an eagle-feathered arrow, for a puma kills calves, and a puma kills sheep, and he'd never eat any more antelope if he once met up with me.